Good afternoon. Come on in, everybody, and help me praise the Lord. I got air again, y'all. I mean, I got air conditioning. It's fixed. A young man came in here named Bubba and fixed my air. So I am so excited. I could just squeal, y'all. So, anywho, I'm still going to be making my um, quick, easy meals. This is going to be just some sausage and rice and beef that I'm cooking some of. Start out by stir frying everything. That is uh, one large onion, half of a red pepper, and four medium stalks of a celery that I've chopped. Now, because everything is going to go into this one container, I'm going to go ahead and put everything in at the same time. I got my veggies in. I got um, about 12, 10, or 12, 10 ounces of uh, sliced beef sausage. Okay, I'm going to get all that going. And this is going to be so simple and so easy. Y'all yeah, just don't, don't blink now, you might miss something. So I'm going to get everything, my peppers, onions, celery, saute, and put the sausage right in it. Because when I finish it, all I'm going to do is put the rice in and mix it, and voila, we're going to have this in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, I've got uh, a tablespoon of garlic. Mix the garlic that I'm just going to shake right in there. Just a little bit more. But it's okay. I don't know what it is. Put that mix the garlic right on into there. I'm not going to have to put a lot of salt in there because the sausage are already salty. And I'm going to be putting some uh, ground beef. Looks like kettle um, that I use for my tacos. It's pre cooked. So I'm going to add that in. Here shortly, and, and I'm just gonna let this uh, saute for about 15 minutes. These are this is just one cup of the brown meat. Remember the meat I told you that was part of those folded packets of food. I'm mixing that in, and I'm gonna put in some uh, yellow rice into it. And we're gonna have us a nice, tasty one dish meal. Now, this is shrimp and crab ball oil but it has a wonderful flavor and it's very very hot y'all i'm just gonna do a few drops of that over in there just to give it a little bit of a kick not a lot just a little i hope that you all have something in mind for your lunch this is going to be a lunch dinner combo teaspoon of um black pepper Yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is going to be really good, y'all. It's so quick and easy to make. And like I said, during the summertime, these one-dish meals are wonderful. While my air was out, of course, this was all I was doing, basically one-dish meals. And here and there, I might throw something in that wasn't. But today, definitely a one-dish meal. Definitely, definitely, definitely. This is going to be so yummy, y'all. So what are y'all up to today? It, the weather is really nice today. Thank God that uh, air conditioning man got... I know y'all are curious to know what was wrong with my air. It was the capacitor was out. It was gone completely. He replaced it. I have a train air conditioning unit, and it's about, oh, between 26... 27, 28, 30 years old. It has held up wonderfully. And I asked the young man, you know, of course, how much longer he felt like it might last. He said, entire, it may last a day or it could last another year. So this is one of those play by year things. And of course, I got the maintenance plan. And hopefully, it will hold up. And I, you know, I call them as many times as I need to to keep it going until I have to buy a new one. Because, you know, I'm, I'm sure. Now, we bought that unit, oh, Lord, like I said, almost 30 years ago. And it was, like, right at $5,000. I can imagine what a train unit would be worth, be, you know, what it would cost these days. I can't even begin to imagine. I'm not even trying to price one. I don't really want to know at this point. I just want to know that the one I've got is going to hold up until... 
I get all the juice squeezed out of it. And I, I'm here to tell you, that's pretty good, I think. Uh, to be able to have a unit for that long. One teaspoon of complete seasoning, y'all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But truly, this past week, I'm telling you what, it was Jesus keep me near the cross because it got hot some days, and, and I have to say, most of those days, three of those days, out of let's see, we start let's see on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Out of those days, maybe three of those days were really, really hot days, and we had the fan work. It was not impossible because we stayed right here. And then the other days, God sent the rain, cooled it off, and sent this cool weather. And today, even, um, I basically had to turn the air conditioner where it won't even kick on, but I wanted it in the house was not overly heated. So it, it, it's not bad trying to get it cooled back down. I tell God, thank you. I am eternally grateful that uh, the young man was able to get here and do. But he needs to do nice lunch, young man. And I was just tickled. His name was Bubba. Uh, one of my older brothers' name was Bubba. And it just brought a little smile to my face. And of course, Bubba is going to always be in my prayer. And I told him, now I got two Bubbas to think about and pray about. I still pray, even, even in death, I pray that uh, where he is is gratifying. My brother died when he was 18 years old. Someone took his life. So, anywho, y'all, I got air. I've got air, y'all. And I'm here to tell you, I'm some kind of happy because I'm here to tell you. Uh, the other good thing, one good thing, my son, uh, Big John, is coming from Atlanta. Uh, I've got to call him in a little bit. Well, I call him. He doesn't matter. But I'm thinking call him when he gets off work, but I can still because I think he's working from home anyway. I don't know what I'm thinking. So anyway, my son will be here to visit for a couple of days, starting tomorrow, I believe it is. So I'll get to see him for two or three days and cook food for him. And so excited that it's Arizona so that he could come, you know, because I didn't want him to come without air here. So now I'm really, really, I got excited when he told me he was coming. And then when I thought, ooh, no air, no air, so now I can call him up and give him the good news, good news, the air is working. Honey, we can all, we can lay out, we can just enjoy this air, and I thank God for even this cool weather, so now I don't have to run the air as much, uh, because the day is not that hot. God is just so awesome how he works things out in your life, and how he shows us and gives us the opportunity to reflect. But what I had to go back to when that air was out was that, I'm serious y'all, I don't remember having uh, simple air and all that until I was, I guess I was 15, 16 years old. I remember, you know, coming up as a teenager, we had air, I mean, uh, fans, and then we had those window fans, and then I think, I can remember the, um, not central air, but the where you have the one room air conditioning unit. That's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, I couldn't be so high and mighty that I could uh, be a, a little, little bit of heat for a little while. So, I thank God, I'm telling you, and you know, we have to think sometimes not to take everything for granted. Uh, just like that, I, you know, I pay my bills at my uh, air conditioning, I have electricity, I have an air conditioning unit, I have a comfortable home. But you never know when something's going to go out because it's man-made and it can go out at any given time. And we just have to trust God to get it back right so that uh, we can enjoy it. So I just thank God and I thank Him for the opportunity to be able to reflect. But I mean, who even thinks about air conditioning or heat? We don't think about it until something goes wrong with it. So I give God the glory. I thank him for the great things that he's done and for what he's going to do. And I thank him now that uh, the air is on. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, I thank him for that. Um, and while we're thanking God for things, it's just, it's the, the word of God says give thanks in all things. So I give God the glory 
um, that he is who he is in my life and that for the things that he has done in my life. And y'all know, I told you I came back from Disney with a, uh, a little cold or whatever I got, but anyway, I finally went to check, get it checked out. It was an upper respiratory um, infection, so it was not anything I had to have. The doctors didn't require me to, didn't think I needed antibiotics, so I thought thank you because I don't like to do a lot of those. So, uh, I'm doing well. It's, it's passing. I can feel it going on through. I can feel it passing on through. I just thank God for all things and for the things that he allows us to do on our own. You know, everybody in the world uh, won't, you don't have to be alarmed about things. Because sometimes we need to go through some things. I think. Now, that's just me. I think we need to go through some things. And then that way we can give God the glory. And I do as often as I can. So just wanted to share that with y'all because y'all been hanging out with me while it was hot in the kitchen and while, well I didn't do a lot of hacking and coughing on camera but I thank God that the uh, coughing and hacking is gone pretty much and my son is coming and I'm excited so hopefully all the kids will be able to come over and we get together like we always do and just laugh and talk and hopefully we'll be able to get up to Atlanta here soon so we can see the rest of the fam. But again, I'm just grateful and I'm tickled. Bubba gave me air this morning, y'all. Who oh, by the grace of God he gave me air this morning. I, I, if you know the other thing, I kept thinking about so um, I hope I was hoping that, that he didn't have to order any parts. So the parts he used, he had them on his truck. And for that I'm grateful. So, we tell God thank you. We give him the honor, the praise, and the glory that he so richly deserves. I'm going to put about a little half teaspoon of, this is just a little bit of soy sauce, y'all. So, when I put that rice in the pan, it'll be well coated. Okay. I'm going to let that just sit there and cook just a little while longer. Let's see how long this has been cooking now for 12 minutes. What I say, about 15 minutes. This dish, start to finish, because I had to chop the veggies. It took, we're going to say 10 minutes to chop the veggies. And another 15, 25. And then the rice, of course, cooked while other stuff was cooking. So this is a 30 minute dish, y'all. A 30 minute dish. And I'm just going to open some lessure, well these are not even lessure, sweet peas. I'm just going to open some sweet peas for Kareem and I'm, for myself. I'll eat a few sweet peas, but I think I'm going to eat, uh, I've got Brussels sprouts left over, so that will be my veggie. And also I will make me just a simple green salad with just some lettuce and some balsamic vinaigrette. I like something nice and cool when I eat spicy food. So I'm looking forward to this meal. You can jump in the kitchen, like I say, and have this meal on the table in no time at all. Not at all. I'm looking for stuff. Y'all, excuse me. There, I found it. So I think I'm going to put my peas in the little glass dish. I'm so excited. I thought I want to make I want to make me some oatmeal cookies, y'all. So I gotta make sure I got all my ingredients in the cabinet and might have to go out here to the store. If I have to go to the store, I might not get them done today because I don't really, 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 really want to go to the store. So let's see what we do with time. About another minute on my beef here about another minute on the beef skillet. Okay, and we can go ahead now. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the rice in right on in, on top of that. Oh, isn't that a pretty dish though? I love pretty dish. Mm. 
Yum, yum. Give me some, y'all. This is going to be real good. I'm going to just turn the heat off because everything is done. It's just a matter of mixing now. You see how fast, how simple, how quick, how easy that is to do? In no time at all, we can have this on the table, y'all. Look at that. You got your starch, your vegetable, and your protein all in one skillet. And that yellow rice is just regular, the get regular saffron yellow rice that you just buy and cook it according to the recipe. Mmm. Yay. We're done. Got all that rice. Oh, that was a cup and a fourth of rice. Yeah, a cup and a fourth of rice. It's all the rice you needed in that. This is ready. So you got all of your colors in there. Your yellows, your greens, your reds. And of course your little... Well, the onions were white at one point, but they're, they're sort of a beige color now. But then that, doesn't it just look wonderful? And like I say, I will do me a um, nice tossed salad to go with this because I like a um, kind of something cool in my mouth when I'm eating this. And with this, um, got a little bit of heat in there too. So this is going to be just absolutely simple and wonderful. You put a trivet there because I don't want that to continue cooking. Yeah, there we go. Take some of the heat from under there. This meal is ready, y'all. Ready, 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 ready. I might even garnish. I have got some um, bacon bits. I think I'm just going to garnish the top if I have enough. Let's see. Yeah, just going to garnish the top with a few bacon bits. Yum, yum, yummy. There we are, people. We got this is almost like a stove top casserole. But those bacon bits will just give it more flavor. And there it is. There it is. There we go. That is the sausage. Beef sausage and ground beef rice and veggie stir fry one dish meal oh that was a lot wasn't it so anywho guys if you want to make this dish just jump on in the kitchen and start chopping your uh peppers and onions and sausage uh if you don't have any ground beef already done you can grab you know you can grab uh, already cooked pre-cooked ground beef right at the store and just uh, everything in the pan at one time and just Dump that rice right on in there. Grab you something green to eat with it. And like I said, with mine, we're going to have some green peas. Green peas, y'all. And I may do a salad. May do a salad. And I've got some leftover Brussels sprouts in the fridge. So, anyway, the main feature here today, of course, is this one dish beef sausage ground beef veggie and rice dish so guys thank y'all for hanging out with me thank y'all for praying for my air too i can feel y'all's prayers i can feel that cool wind blowing past me i can also feel the prayers that we continue to pray for our sisters and brothers who are in distress in uh florida anywhere else throughout the world i know the weather these uh, different storms are coming through we had a tremendous rain yesterday no damage or anything like that maybe it may be a little bit of flooding somewhere but i haven't heard but there was a huge rainstorm yesterday so we pray that nobody had any distress from it and uh throughout this sea we have the tornado hurricane season it's these seasons that come through and they're hitting areas too of course that are still already in distress but we're just going to pray god's blessing upon them that they are kept out of harm's way and that everybody is going to be okay so love you guys thank you guys so much for continuing to um tune into my channel y'all come on help me get those um 
a subscriber numbers up. I think I'm almost at 43,000. I think I need something like 10, 12, but we want to get on up to 50,000. I had wanted to get them before the year is out. So y'all come on, subscribe, like my videos so we can get those subscriptions up. And don't forget to listen to and watch uh, Lady T Sensations, Tanya Howe, and Abide in the Vine, Miss C's Kitchen, uh, and all these wonderful young women that are um, uh, Prissy P, all these young uh, Tyra's Big World of Flavor, all these young women that are out there doing that thing on YouTube. Just go ahead and give them a listen. All about the banks, my other children, they, th those are my traveling uh, children that love to get in that RV and just go all over the country and show you the great things that they enjoy in life. So remember to help to support each and every one that you can on YouTube. Um, there are some interesting, awesome things on there. So listen, guys, I love you all so much. And until I decide to cook again, I'm going to sign off to Lou. Love you. Hey, Mary Liz.